think we had a uh, I think we had a spectacular night, huh? With uh, Victor and Ponce, El Canelo Alvarez. We uh, we were extremely, extremely proud, extremely happy with the outcome, with the uh, fans that showed up. With the afición que llegó de México, llegaron de todos lados por todo el mundo. We're extremely proud of all these fighters with Ponce de León who's back on top, well, he'll be fighting for a world title. Y pues ahora, now at this moment, I would like to take the opportunity to uh, present to you, Vicious Victor Ortiz. Uh, had a great win. He's back, baby. He's back. He's back. Hey, how are you doing today? How are you doing today? Oh, yeah. I'm, uh, I'm just hanging out in here, having a good time, you know, uh, just enjoying the night. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone for coming out and supporting. Um, it was uh, definitely a, a big surprise to the way I did old Vivian. Um, he had quite a, a, a lot to say about me, but, you know, I didn't really say a whole lot, but I, I put my gloves on and went to work. It was a good, good night, you know. Uh, can't really say anything and just thank Vivian for giving me the chance and the shot. He's one of the only people who's actually had the courage to give me the shot right now as a world champ. So, um, any of the world champions out there, you know, I don't even need to name the 140 pound division. You know who you are. You know, your buddy's waiting. But, uh, no, no disrespect. Just saying. There we go, what's up, man? There, there he is. You know, like I said. No disrespect, we just need a shot, that's it. But thank you guys, thank you, everybody. I appreciate it, thank you. Any questions? Take questions? You suck! What are you gonna take out to be rapping? What was that? You suck! Well, whatever he says, you know. He's the man right now, I can't really make the choice. We're gonna take out Brandon Rio. That's a lot. That's actually a tuna fight. Any other questions? You know, I thought, I thought, like, you know, as, a, as an experienced veteran that he is, and a dangerous one, I just thought maybe, hey, it's not gonna end this quick. But you know, hey, uh, I caught him. And I listened to my corner, and, and you know, I did what I had to do. So uh, it was a good night on my end. Thank you. Victor Ortiz, uh, after this win, now obviously uh, we are ready, we are willing to uh, listen to any promoter, uh, any fighter who wants to challenge him. Uh, obviously uh, the doors are wide open, Victor is ready for any fighter, any challenge out there. So uh, Victor is looking forward to that, Victor just wants to fight. And obviously the, the main focus now, after uh, beating Vicious Vivian Harris, and, and doing it in a spectacular fashion is that he wants the Maidana rematch. That's the one he wants and he wants it here at the Staples Center. So hopefully we can get that done. Obviously uh, Maidana has a tough test against uh, a tough fight against Amir Khan December 11 in Las Vegas. So uh, that's going to be uh, that's going to be one heck of a fight. Now gives me the uh, great pleasure to introduce to you I think a fighter who made a big splash here in, uh, in Los Angeles. 80 million people in Mexico follow him. 80 million personas ya lo, lo siguen en Mexico on a regular basis. And now he knocked out a fighter who was never ever knocked out like that with one punch and boxed beautifully and showed a lot of poise and progression. I think uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez is going to be a. Uh, a star, and the star is a strong word to throw out there, but I'm going to say it, he's going to be a star. Saul Canelo Alvarez, Guadalajara, Mexico. Buenas noches a todos. Quiero agradecerle a todos su apoyo. Hoy, una gran noche para todos, para todos nosotros. Eh, simplemente agradecer y decir que estoy contento con lo que hice hoy, pero hay que trabajar más porque... Vienen, vienen las cosas buenas 
y solamente eh, agradecerles y, y hay canelo para acá. Gracias. He wants to thank everybody. He's very happy. He wants to let everybody know that what's coming, what's next, there's a lot of Canelo to come. And what you saw tonight, there's still things to be learned, but he's going to get progressive, he's going to get better, because he's ready for the bigger fights, the bigger things to come. We have, uh, we have big plans for Canelo, obviously, uh, we want to take him back uh, December 4th and fight in Mexico. Uh, we, uh, we are currently talking with the uh, government in Mexico and uh, Don Chepo Reynoso, uh, his trainer, uh, along with his son. Uh, we're going to sit down and, and talk about his, uh, his next fight, but uh, he wants to keep fighting here uh, in the States. He wants to fight the big names. He wants to fight the champions. Um, obviously, uh, you know, we don't want to, we, we want to slow him down just a bit. He just turned 20 years old. Uh, we want to make sure he progresses the right way, but he's ready for the big names. He's ready for the big champions, but right now is not the time. Right now is not the time. We want him to get the experience and make sure that all the T's are crossed and the I's are dotted. So uh, when we do face him against the Mayweathers, when we do face him against the Pacquiao's, we want to make sure he's ready. Buenas noches, contento de estar aquí con ustedes. Yo quiero hacerles un comentario. El jueves pasado en la conferencia de prensa eh, les dije que esta noche el Canelo iba a dejar de ser niño para convertirse en hombre. Y hoy se convirtió en hombre porque noqueó a quien nadie había noqueado, a Carlos Valdomir. Hoy el Canelo se hizo hombre porque hizo cosas de hombre. Gracias. Bueno, well, he wants to thank everybody. He's very happy with the result. And he said last Thursday at the press conference that on Saturday night, this boy was going to turn a man into a man on Saturday night. And tonight, he turned into a man by knocking out somebody that no one had ever knocked out. Thank you very much. The first fight on the televised portion was a tremendous fight between Antonio Escalante and Daniel Ponce de Leon. And here is Daniel Ponce de Leon. Great, great performance. Uh, looked sensational. Congratulations. Gracias a todos, toda la prensa. Este, decirles que estoy eh, preparándome para el campeonato del mundo. Esta pelea que hice es una eliminatoria y ahora vamos a esperar eh, cuando sea la oportunidad para campeonato. Y ya estoy listo para, para ser campeón otra vez. First of all, I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, well, this was a very important fight. It's an eliminator. I won it. I'm ready for the world title. I want to be a champion once again. Thank you. Um, I first off want to say thank you to Golden Boy Promotions, putting this all together. My team, Team West, Claudia, thank God, thank the Lord for being here. Without him, I wouldn't be here today. I've been fighting 12 years now, going on 13. And it's just been a long, hard road. But moments like today, is when it all pays off. Missing out on a lot of other things in life that normal people do, it just all pays off to days like this, and I'm just gracious and thankful to everyone.